Happy Thursday, everybody. Sports guy Chris coming back at ya. I am super pumped today, even though normally we would all be immersed in the NCAA men's basketball tournament right now, with today, of course, being the first day of the tournament, had it, you know, went along as originally uh, planned. But not to fear, I am back today trying to keep March Madness alive the best I can in my own little way by simulating my official bracket and we've got that going today so i started out simulated the day one results of the opening round just as if the tournament were progressing as normally planned of course saturday i revealed my official 2020 march madness ncaa tournament bracket using that bracket i went ahead and simulated the first round first day results so half of the first round games are in the books guys and i'm super excited to give you the results so there's plenty to cover as you can imagine with 16 games we're going to jump right into it the first game that started us all off today was three seed seton hall taking on the 14 seed akron zips and we had a great game. It was one of the best games of the day to start out right off the bat. Seton Hall pulled it out 71-70 to in a game that went right down to the wire. The Pirates got off to a pretty solid double-digit halftime lead and then hung on down the stretch to pull it out over the zip. So the first game of the day was a great one, but the, the whole you know opening slew of games were all really close. So the second game was an 8-9 matchup in the Midwest region between LSU and Rutgers, and the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers pulled it out 65-63. The 9 seed advances on to face either Kansas or Siena, the winner of that game. So the third game of the day actually provided our first upset right here, right away, as 7 seed Michigan took on 10 seed Utah State and the Aggies ended up rallying to beat the Wolverines 66 to 60. They finished the game on a seven nothing run to pull it out. So 10 seed Mountain West Conference Tournament champs, Utah State were the first upset they moved on. Then we had another three seed in action as Creighton and Bradley played another great game. Another one that went right down to the wire. The Blue Jays pulled it out 67, 65 over the Braves. So we had a couple of great 3-14 matchups early on. That brought us to our next game and our first 5-12 matchup of the tournament. That was a battle of the Bulldogs between Butler and Yale. And guys, we had another big upset. Yale, who would have been a popular pick by all accounts out there, one of the favorites maybe to be a 12-5 upset, you know, special. And they took care of business. Yale beat Butler 75-59. to So not only did Yale pull off the 12-5 upset, they did so in rather dominant fashion. So I was, uh, you know, one of the people out there with many others that felt uh, Butler was a little bit overrated this year. And they bow out to Yale in the first round. So staying in that same region, the East region, the next game featured the one seed in that region, Baylor, taking on UC Irvine. Baylor, though, did not have any problems. They cruised 73-53, to as was expected to move on. The next game of the day I thought was going to be one of the best of the opening round between 6 seed Arizona and 11 seed Richmond in the Midwest region. I really like the Spiders coming in. I picked them to win this game, but alas, Arizona took care of business. The Wildcats lived up to their sparkling net rating and took care of Richmond 68-51. to So Arizona advanced in that one. The next game, we stayed right in the Midwest region talking about Kansas. The Jayhawks took care of Siena in a game in which they were really, never really challenged. The final was 101-75, and they actually opened up a 53-30 halftime lead as Bill Self's squad was never really in doubt in that one. So moving on to the second half of the simulated opening day games, we had two-seed San Diego State in action in the West region and they were taking on Little Rock and they took care of business in a 75-68 victory. Again, a, a little maybe a little tighter than some expected, but the Aztecs prevailed and moved on. 
The next game of the day was also in the West region. It was an 8-9 matchup between Colorado and Florida. And guys, this was one of the big surprises so far. Colorado absolutely thrashed the Gators 73-50. I did not see that coming. I thought Florida might, uh, you know, would take care of business and maybe even give Gonzaga some trouble moving forward. So, San Diego State advanced and uh, Colorado advanced with a 73-50 shellacking. The next game provided another little upset in another 7-10 game going back to the Midwest region. Iowa was in action against Marquette. Again, another game I thought would be one of the great ones here of the opening day and Marquette got it done. The Golden Eagles snuck it out 71-66. They became the second 10 seed along with Utah State to advance. That takes us to our next game where four seed Louisville was taken on 13 Vermont. I had the Cardinals on upset alert, but they took care of business. The final score was 64-56, but the game was never really that close. Louisville was comfortably ahead throughout. So the Cardinals advance. The next game was one of the, you know, least surprising results. Two seed Florida State, again in the Midwest region. They took care of 15 seed North Texas with ease 88-65 in a game that honestly was kind of expected to go that way. That brings us to the next game, another 8-9 matchup, the third of the four 8-9 matchups going on today. That was in the East region, St. Mary's, Texas Tech, in a game where we expected it to be a good one, and it was. It went all the way down to the end. The Red Raiders pulled it out 67-61 to advance on to take on fellow Big 12 rival Baylor in the second round. So the final two games of the day, a big surprise, Virginia, the sixth seed in the South, taking on the 11 seed UCLA. I thought this would be one of the games of the entire opening round. The Bruins end up shocking everybody. They blow out Virginia and defending champs, the Cavaliers, 82-61. to So a bit of a shocker there, but UCLA advances. And the final game of the first day opening round games, one seed Gonzaga taking on Robert Morris. The Zags got a little, you know, a little tougher of a game than many probably thought they would, but they prevail 67-58. So... That is the opening day of the first round in the books, guys, at Sports Guy Chris. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, find me on Instagram and score them. I'll be back tomorrow with the rest of the opening round results.